we still have a very active situation here at Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island. In the lower East Rift Zone, even though there was no active eruption of spatter or lava overnight, we have continuing high levels of earthquake activity and ground deformation that suggests that magma is still close to the surface and in fact potentially moving down rift to the northeast some distance. Elevated levels of sulfur dioxide gas emissions are consistent with that. So the situation is still unstable and additional outbreaks are likely. Here at the summit, we continue to see deflation, which is consistent with lowering of the lava column within the overlook vent. As of yesterday, it had dropped out of sight. Uh, this morning, we had a very robust steam plume coming out of the vent, punctuated by at least two small ash explosions that sent quantities of reddish wall rock billowing up into the atmosphere a few thousand feet and uh, drifting downwind where we could see fallout from up here. So the situation is still very dynamic here at Kilauea. We're watching it around the clock as closely as we can with instrumentation and field crews and keeping civil defense and other agencies and the public informed. Thank you. Six minutes for you. The summit lava lake surface elevation is dropping, meaning that lava conduit keeps dropping in height above sea level and eventually it's going to reach the water table. You can see on the right side this linear chart that's going down. They do believe that it will reach the water table somewhere around the 13th. Now currently because the magma is so hot and when it does get to the water table that water is instantly turned to steam and repelled back it doesn't have a chance to really fill in and that conduit doesn't have a chance to collapse in on itself to create the cap that then creates the pressure so as long as that lava is above where the water table is everything's fine
want to bring you back to something that's startling and really brought to my attention in, in an email that was lengthy and well written. Name not to be mentioned, but thank you for even informing me of this. I didn't even know about it. This is called the Hilna Slope. And you see Kilauea where the red dot is. And if you follow down on the elevation lines, you come right where the orange lettering is. It says Hilna Slope. That is the coastline. Now in history, they have had massive landslides coming off of this edge of the big island. And when it does, the landslides that occur create massive tsunamis. The last one, Hilo in the 1960s. You need to check out that event itself. It created such a tsunami that thousands of people were killed in Hilo just around the other edge of the island from one of these events. This is what they're not talking about in the news. And National Park Service, you should be telling people to get ready for a tsunami if this actually does slip off. Thank you.